So we have a dead here for the terracotta membrane. It's like 3 meters, 50 meters volts. And not so much of an amp production. It's like all good connected. Should be, yeah. But uh, voltage climbs back up. It's nice. Then we also have an update of the ceramic filter. This one is really good working. Over here. It's going to be able to get it up. Yeah, this is like day three ish, four, I think, three. And we have 432 millivolts and climbing. That's nice. I also have a nice bridge. Milliamps, like peak 16, and if we turn back into millivolts, it also climbs really fast up. So it's nice, and it stabilizes around. Uh, you're already maxed out to millivolts, and yeah, <laughs> and it stabilizes around 3 uh, milliamps. So this one is really nice working so we should have ceramics with carbon I found those tubes too so we need to sample some of these and then find uh, the results of this data these data but it's really nice day three it's settled in climbs back in uh, rapidly to the upside so it's really nice So this cell is uh, working. The ceramic algae microbiofuel cell prototype. Yeah. Now we have some of the big one. We had some uh, shortcut, short cutting issues because we don't use a membrane. It's membraneless and uh, the tie wraps were it was it just fits in the tubes and tie wraps were pushing the electrodes against each other. So we had like. 10 ohm resistance over the whole cell is like internal resistance so that's not good but let's hook up this one this is now uh, brand new i uh added a second layer like from that back it's like porous maybe it will prevent some uh, contact and this, uh, still stuff can flow through it but i still measure a little bit a high, uh, higher uh, resistance it's not uh, 7 or 10 it's now 100 48 like 4 kilo ohm. here it measures like a half kilo ohm, but might be still making contact because I made had to use two tie whips this time because it's a little bit more oomph and uh, yeah it might be still be squeezed against each other to make a shitty contact so we still have a low voltage and shitty amperage Oh, it's already now it's still shitty. <laughs> For the size of the, what this is. But give it some slack, it's just like a half hour old. And it is still rising. So. And bubbles up here again. We even need a bigger tube for this one. <laughs> we need like a this tube this is like 10 centimeters we need like i don't know what is that's 10. we need 11. there's many faults and stuff for easy maintenance but we'll she see maybe it will be zero tomorrow that's also a possibility i hope it won't leak on this side See a drip here. Yeah, it's, it's already leaking. <laughs> anyway. But as this ramming goes, it's the number one for this moment.
406. And when we go look inside to the big one, it's like a membrane that's uh, reactor. Plus, you mines. Oh, we have mines here. So, what's the voltage of here? 638. Size. Charlie hooks up. Let's use this one. Uh, 670, 70, 80, still rising. Oh, yeah, oh, God. I got 30 hands now. <laughs> and now let's see the amps. Steady amps. This one uh, goes like a blast. Really dark, super becomes a so, uh, <laughs> so we got a really uh, tight LG production and the voltage just ramps up like <laughs> it's nothing. So let it continue to drain on the small resistor. So that's the update so far.